All right, all right, here we go with Double. This is actually one of the more popular characters. I've seen her a substantial amount in the various videos for Skullgirls that I've looked at, at least among the higher tier of players. So anyway, Deadly Doppelganger with an opt opportunistic playstyle. Despite using variants of many characters' strongest moves compared to many other characters, she can't easily open up her opponent but can exploit any opening to its fullest. Using Double effectively will require patience and skill, looking for any opening in your opponent's defenses to exploit. Didn't they literally just say that? You'll know you've got a handle on this shape-shifting monstrosity when you've done 15 normal attack combos and include all seven other characters in them together. God damn! Extra command dash, alrighty. Luger replica. Transforms her into parasol to fire her gun. I really truly wish it let me move during that. Hornet bomber transforms her into cerebella. I assume that's probably an overhead. Double Cilia Slide transforms her into Philia. Hello? Oh. That is a very strange move. I mean, I guess that kind of mimics Peacock's falling uh, zoning tool, but th that's a little weird. Okay, yeah, I see he's controlled them, so similar to Aracuni's bugs, a variety of other mechanics throughout fighting games. I think that qualifies is using all the other seven characters in a single combo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that didn't really work. Obviously, I'm sure there's a perfectly normal way to do that. not perfectly normal. I'm sure there's a way to guarantee that you land every possible hit with that. Alright. Let's go check out the combos. Oh yeah, everybody offers a DLC character. Oh no, is that too hard knockdown? No, I just have to hit her before she lands. Huh, I probably have to delay the Luger replica then. Delay the Luger replica, he says, and then don't. Oh wait, I'm dumb. Luger replica is a special move, not a J fucking H. So which which one's Luger replica? Wait, shouldn't that trigger? I feel like that should trigger the infinite because you start with the same. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, 
Okay, I have ages to do that. I don't know why that took me as long as it did. Flesh step. Back K. DP motions. Impossible to gain. Beast of Gehenna? Just a moment. Was that the summon, like the level two summon thing? Nope. Oh, yes, it was. You want JHP? I assume Violet Tantrum. Okay. It's just the name of the move. And Standing Light Punch. And two, okay, the same shit. That, alright. Let's see if we can put it together. Apparently not. Okay, that makes it a hell of a lot easier. Oops. Fuck him. Mm. That one's actually really easy once you kind of just understand. The only kind of tricky part is the heavy punch, and once you see it's actually super fucking easy, it's not tricky at all. Oh god. JHK, item crash MK, into... Oh no. Okay, into the same ender as always. Alright, alright, alright. Oh shit, alright, I gotta be faster than that. Oops. Whoa, that was- oh, I probably didn't go two hits? No, I don't really know what I did there. To make that so weird. Crouching heavy punch! Don't do the loop over again, you dumbass!
crouching heavy punch, not heavy kick, you dumbass. I must have done standing heavy kick to start. Did not hit the J heavy kick. Two times. Hit him two times. so easy and I still did so terribly. <laughs> <laughs> 